Here with columnist Bob Robb, I'm Richard Rellis. Immigration reform has been something politicians have talked about for decades, uh, at the very least. Uh, how can Joe Biden fulfill his promise of getting an immigration reform bill through Congress? Well, I give him credit um, for making it an early priority. And he and the Democrats in Congress appear to be quite serious uh, about trying to get some do something done. Uh, however, I think um, what he's done in the early days of his administration and the comprehensive proposal that he has put on the table uh, offer a bad start um, and an unpromising start uh, to that discussion. I think to begin with, the discussion needs to be bifurcated. I think that there is an urgency uh, to providing permanent legal status uh, for those known as dreamers, those who arrived in this country illegally as children, uh, while the DACA program for them that gives them temporary renewable legal status uh, isn't uh, under political threat now that Biden is in uh, the White House. It is highly vulnerable to legal challenge, and I believe that this U.S. Supreme Court would strike it down if the issue ever got before them. Um, so I think job one uh, is to give permanent legal status, provide certainty, allow this population to plan their lives uh, with half, without having to look over their shoulders or worry about what's happening in politics or, or in the legal arena. Then you get to comprehensive, comprehensive uh, immigration reform and things get very dicey. I just think we should remove dreamers from that discussion. Is that politically feasible? I mean, again, in the back and forth of the legislature, le legislative process, it seems like you want to hold on to some chips and maybe uh, Republicans don't want to give that chip away so early on. But Democrats have the ability to put a clean um, DACA bill, uh, a clean Dreamers bill um, up for a vote. Uh, and if it only provided permanent legal status, which is the minimum that's necessary to give these young adults the certainty to go on with their lives, uh, and didn't include a path for citizenship, um, there might be some political concerns or considerations, uh, even though I think that they should get a path to citizenship. But if there was a clean bill that was just permanent legal status, I think Republicans would be hard pressed to come up with reasons to vote against it. And I think a reasonable number of them uh, would do so. And if they didn't, it wouldn't matter. Um, you could uh, get that done. Uh, I think you would be able to overcome a filibuster in the Senate. And I guess when we talk about immigration reform, the whole package, it seems like enforcement is always a key to get at least a patina of bipartisanship and Republicans on board, but you're saying Biden isn't approaching enforcement strongly enough. Yes, this is um, where I believe he gets the discussion off to a bad start. In order to create a broader acceptance of a general amnesty, which I support, um, there has to be reason to believe that this will be the last amnesty, um, that that from this point forward, we will uh, enforce our immigration laws and illegal immigration will be brought down to a negligible uh, amount. I think the best and possibly only way to do that is through a, a uh, universal E-Verify requirement requiring every business in the country for every new hire to verify electronically through a federal program uh, that um, the applicant is actually eligible to work legally in this country. Um, the only way to beat that system, despite claims of the business community, is uh, identity theft. And if you combine the mandatory requirement with a serious commitment to follow up on identity theft, you could reduce illegal immigration uh, to a trickle. Uh, and um, provide a reason to believe that this will be the last amnesty. Uh, on enforcement, um, all Biden proposes uh, for workplace enforcement, which is where it needs to occur, is a committee. Uh, and he has suspended effectively um, virtually all immigration enforcement of existing laws at present. Uh, that's just not the way to uh, get this discussion off. So I think, well, 
Well, job one is to separate the dreamers and to give them permanent legal status. Job two is for uh, Biden to single that he is uh, going to make a serious commitment to making this the last amnesty. And I think the only way to credibly do that is to, for him to, without concessions or negotiations, to firmly express support for a immediate universal E-Verify requirement. Yeah, and I guess beyond the politics of counting up the votes in Congress, it's also convincing the general public that this would be the last amnesty if granted. Bob, good to see you again. As always.